All right, who are you? Hell, Joe, and oh, it's you an ambush. Feral, they're not all the same. You'd punish every single person in Ole because of a grudge you hold against our leaders? Do you even feel any remorse for what you've done? What? Of course I do. I just went there to for, to Orle to help the people there because because of that. Hmm. What are you talking about? That our food Carlos had was worthless. It was rotten. Indira tried to use it to save our people because of you. You betrayed everyone in Raven's Hold. What? Are you more concerned with killing Darkspawn than saving lives? Or maybe it doesn't matter when Elysians are the ones dying. I How would I supposed to, to know? To the dead are crying out for revenge. They're crying out for your blood. And I'm going to give it to them. Nothing. Great. They all died because we helped them. Well, what, I, what was I supposed to do? Uh, <laughs> it's not like I was given any choice, right? Either doing that, either letting them all die by, uh, by the... Either I let them all die by the dark spawn blood that they had in, in the water, or or the elf fruit. So they would have died all at the end because of the water. I don't know. I mean, I'm. I don't think I could have prevented that. Holy hell! I was not expecting that. Of course. How are we going to, to explain that to the Elysian As you desire. in our fort? Crazy. Well, all right. Great sword, crossbow. I have no idea how she will be <laughs> devastated. I hope she's not making us responsible for it. It's not and like so we can I do shall. anything about it. I thought they were talking about the um, the introduction when we didn't help the Elysian soldiers. But this? Holy hell. How was I supposed to know that the elf root was rotten? I mean, yeah. This mod is really trying to make me feel guilty about things. But I think there was no other option, because... I couldn't steal it from the, from the chest. Even with her maxed out, only her, okay, her cunning was not that great, but still, I think she would have... She should have been able to steal it, if it was possible. And we are back at the fort. Is there an emissary? Yes, there is. I need you to petrify the end, this one. And you to take care of the emissary. <laughs> All right. Okay, we don't look like so much damage at the moment. Let's see if it stays like this. It's good. I think it's good. What about the emissary? And the emissary is dead. Nice. That's good. You should help Taras. Please. Oh, that was everything already. Okay, nice. And I lost my mana again. Okay, that's all of them here. There might be a few of them inside. Oh. That woman died. I don't know who that is. I mean, I can't. Re I can't really see well, all right. who that is. Might be someone we know. Might be not. I can't say. All right. Her luck. Her luck emissary. Was the question like where should we go? Apparently this way, towards the the keep. See if there are more. There are probably more darkspawn. Another dead person. 
Oh, he looks a bit like he was already corrupted a bit. I don't know. Are there more? Oh yeah, there are people fighting. So no fireball. Ugh. Okay, but it looks like we're even. Yeah. Two of us survived, that's nice. She was Our controlling people. the dark spawn to Catherine. The only way to make something a thrall is through blood magic. Or have you forgotten Uldred's crimes during the blight already? Alice is not a blood mage. So you say? The two of you were lovers. You're probably a blood mage too. I should kill you where you stand. No, 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 no. What? Her? I don't believe that. That's that's weird. There was not even one sign about that. Hmm. No one is killing anyone right now. If you say so, Commander. Have you not already sated your hatred with one murder? Are you happy? Are you happy that Alice is dead? Far from it. She was either a blood mage, or had power like one. What is to say that you do not have such power, or any mage here for that matter? I am not pleased that she is dead, for now I cannot get the truth from her. But I know my Templars acted properly. He is condoning murder on the basis of ignorance and fear. Commander, you cannot allow him to get away with this. I need to know what happened exactly. Mm. What crime have, have the Templars committed now? Get away with what? Alice was no Malefica. One of his Templars butchered her because he thought she was using blood magic. I don't know what she was doing, but I knew her. She would never dream of using blood magic. She knew it was wrong. Then how could she control the Darkspawn? How is it possible? Answer me, mage! Maybe you should have asked her before getting one of your dogs to butcher her? My best guess is that it's something to do with the crystal we found. Hmm. You mean one of these? That's exactly like the one Alice was looking at. Alice thought that these crystals had some sort of link to the Darkspawn. She had been studying the crystal to determine what effect it might have on them. She said she had been making progress, albeit slowly. Either way. This sounds like a dangerous investigation. It should die along with her. <laughs> what? You would shut your mouth, Templar. You've already murdered her. I will not have you sully her name as well. I will continue her work. Whatever research she was doing should stop. Surely you must agree, Commander. No, I'm on the side of the mages. Not because I'm a mage here, but still. They shouldn't have just killed her. Mm. Hmm. If done carefully, I'll let the research continue. You cannot be serious! A mage is dead because a Templar overstepped their bounds and murdered her on nothing more than suspicion. The Templars are not above the law. And neither are mages. My Templar saw a mage doing something only possible by blood magic. He did his duty and killed her. Something you think is only possible by blood magic. I do not know everything about magic, and I can use it. How can you claim to be more knowledgeable? Perhaps our lovely Templar has an intimate knowledge of blood magic that he would like to confess right now? No? I didn't think so. Killing Alice on suspicion alone is despicable, but blood magic is no better. Commander, I cannot have my judgment or that of my Templars called into question. Yeah, but what he did was wrong. It was. Hmm. Maybe in this case it should be. Hmm. Everyone's actions should be open to scrutiny. Templars act to protect the safety of everyone. And sometimes that means making hard decisions in an instant. The Chantry trusts us with that power. With that burden. The Chantry is told to punish those who overstep their bounds. Commander, you must send them word of the crime that has been committed here. Why do we need to send word to anyone? We have servants of the Maker here in Fort Valen. 
All of whom trust you implicitly, Farouk. Word must be sent to dinner room, and they must be the ones to judge your actions. Commander, do not agree to this. But I do. Hmm. If your Templar acted properly, you have nothing to fear. Why do you look so concerned, Farouk? Are you worried your butchery will be exposed? I suppose I should have expected a mage to deliberately antagonize me. It is dangerous to involve yourself in the politics of Templars and mages, Commander. You may find yourself in trouble with people more powerful than me. You have my gratitude, Commander. I... No, I can't bring Alice back, but I will not let that bastard justify murder. I'm sorry. I... Please, just leave me be. Of course. Uh, again? Again, I'm in the, in the dream? You helped repel, re repel? I've never heard that word before. You helped... Repel the dark spawn attack on Fort Velen. I hope I pronounced that correctly. All right, Remiel. You are proving to be a somewhat capable commander. You rallied an effective defense against the dark spawn attack. Yet after the unfortunate incident with that elf, Alice, I imagine the Templars will destroy the crystal you found, just as they attempt to do with anything they cannot understand. Hmm. What does that crystal do? I am attempting to understand the power of these crystals, for they appear to be in some way linked to the Darkspawn Taint. I know where more are located, but I do not know what they are capable of, nor what might happen if they should fall into the wrong hands. Hmm. I do not want them in your hands. Then we are at an impasse. For I wish to obtain them and prevent you from doing so. I do not wish to see Theda so utterly reliant on the Grey Wardens to protect it. I wish to see the Darkspawn brought down, but I do not know why they must be our saviors whenever a blight occurs. I do not care if this region suffers because of my actions. I would gladly sacrifice all of Ferelden and Orlais for my cause. I would certainly have no qualms about killing you. Yeah, killing with 3L, indeed. Hmm. Then why are you talking to me? So that you will realize the folly of your actions. You are guilty of sacrificing the lives of others because of your actions. Do you seek to add more deaths to your name? By dealing with the Darkspawn here, I seek a means to remove the threat of them once and for all. By standing against me, you will doom countless people to death. The villages and Fort Velen will all burn for the sake of knowledge. You can either flee or be consumed by the flames. <laughs> I mean, so far he's right about it. Everything we did... We lost people. I mean, not all, no, not all, I mean, some things we did were good, we helped those people in the, uh, on the cross, what was the name of it? Uh, I can't open the main, this yet, but you know what I mean? We helped those people who were supposedly suffering from um, darkspawn uh, blights, but they were not, they were actually healthy, so we did good to save them. All right, let's see if we have other people to talk to. Let me activate Miasma again. Hello, Keldrin. The fighting last night is exactly what we don't need. Now we have tension between mages and Templars that threatens to boil over. We were fortunate to kill a number of Darkspawn. I just hope the cost was not too high. Was there something you wish to speak about? What was it like growing up as a Grey Warden? I imagine my experience is little different from any other mage growing up. I was taken away f from my life by people I did not know and instructed how to live. Of course, I was living the knowledge that I was being groomed for a purpose. I knew that I wouldn't remain a prisoner for the rest of my life. No offense. The Grey Wardens provide something to aspire to. They have goals and ideals, and I had to live up to those. Hmm. They sound like big expectations. I was given reason to learn. According to the Chantry, mages must master the talents or be killed. 
I prefer my upbringing. It wasn't easy by any means. The Grey Warden sold many things secrets and with good reason. But until I became a Grey Warden proper, I could not know any of them. Even among the mages, people would fall silent as I drew near. Even though I was welcomed and taught by the Wardens, I was still very much an outsider. A lonely young boy. Hmm. He must have been strong. I did what I had to do, nothing more. I don't know why they didn't turn me over to the circle and then come back to claim me. Fiona simply said it was better to avoid that. She never gave me more reason than that, but she never needed to. The wardens taught me that I should be honest and direct. Diplomacy is unnecessary luxury that people cling to, hoping it will protect them. Actions are what matter, not words. Hmm. Actions and words? Hmm, diplomacy means we stand together against our enemies. Really? I see a great deal of infighting here, despite the supposed diplomacy we have. We should get to the task at hand, unless there is anything else. Hmm. You obviously have an opinion on the mages and templars. I do. If they are allowed to argue, their words could eventually turn to action and we would have fighting inside these walls. As commander, you need to make sure that doesn't happen. They cannot be allowed to jeopardize this campaign. Hmm. I won't let that happen. I'm glad to hear it. If the fighting occurs inside our walls, it won't just be soldiers dying. If the mages and templars fight, the people we're trying to protect will die, and not just in the towns out here, out there. A witch hunt will see the refugees inside this fort dead. That is unacceptable. Is there anything else you can tell me about the darkspawn? They aren't behaving like normal darkspawn. They're more intelligent. It's not quite like a blight, but they do seem to have some sort of organization. It's almost as t as though... I can't explain it. Their behavior is unusual given the circumstances. Hmm. Is there some way to find an explanation? I hope so, for all our sakes. First the mysterious man in the woods, now we find strange crystals. I don't know anything for certain, but I will keep searching. That's all for now. Alright. So he doesn't know anything more about that, but... Well, I don't trust him that much really, but... He hasn't been doing anything bad so far, so let's just... See. I expected the fort to protect us better. I thought I'd safely be able to get a night's sleep here. Hmm. Uh. I could always arrange for you to sleep outside the walls. It's a joke. That won't be necessary. <laughs> I'm just wondering why the Darkspawn are here. What are they doing in the Frostbacks? Yeah, that's a good question. Hmm. That question keeps me up at night. Then you know the burden of being a leader. Let's just hope we don't have any more unexpected surprises from the Darkspawn. Yeah. But enough of that talk, Commander. What can I do for you? I still know a little about your family or life in Orzammar. What's there to tell? I was a dwarven noble. Doesn't that tell you everything you need to know? I'm sorry to say I didn't really live up to the expectations my family had of me. Power and political games weren't something I cared about. Hmm. My house was founded from a paragon, so why did I need to try to get more power? Hmm. I can't imagine you in the politics. Neither could I. We need real heroes. Paragons. Not people like Balin or Harrowmont fighting over the throne. Hmm. How could I do that when all the noble houses did was bicker over power and wealth? Hmm. A noble goal, but what did you do? Nothing. I achieved nothing. Hmm. Unfortunately, I was no great fighter, nor thinker, and I could not inspire others to follow me. Only here on the surface, surrounded by those not worthy of the stone, am I greater than most. I just hope that I can do something to restore my dignity. Something to prove to my family that I am still worthy of our name. Hmm. What do you mean you're not worthy of your family name? I'm not sure if I am right now. But I'm going to try to be. It's 
difficult for me to admit that I doubt my abilities at times. A noble dwarf should not have doubts. Paragons are brave, determined, charismatic. They are filled with virtue and valor. I don't feel I have enough of all of those qualities. Hmm. I'm sure the paragons felt that way too. I suppose that must be true. As usual, you're right. I'll never achieve greatness if I don't do something to get there. <laughs> you make difficult decisions and stand by them. You can lead and inspire. You do those things that I can't. You're a sight to behold and an inspiration. I'm glad to be your friend. Yes. No, I'm not going that route. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's romance in this mod. But I don't want to try it out. Mm. Good friends, I hope. I guess we'll find out exactly how good as we go. <laughs> I think we've talked enough about me for now, don't you? Perhaps there's something else you wanted to discuss? Hmm. How do you think the campaign is going? I don't think I can say it's going well, given how many people have died already. First, it was the Orlesians who died. And now Alice has been killed. I hope we don't have to pay a price of blood for our next victory as well. Yeah. So do I. Just letting you know that I'd like to avoid becoming a casualty of war. Yeah, if there's getting, something we're other we're than fighting sure I can do to help ensure our victory and survival, let me know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Scared, Terrace? I'm not afraid to fight, Commander. I just want to make sure we're only fighting when we need to. Of course. Alright, what's your opinion on the Mages and Templars? My opinion is that I don't want to take sides. Yeah, I Why guess I understand that. Petty squabbles between devout followers of the Maker and people who embrace the Fade. Neither matter to me. Well, the problem for me is I am a mage, so if I'm trying to be... Um, Neutral, they always think I'm... The, the Templars think I am too too much pro-mages, and the mages will think that I'm abandoning them. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Imprisonment and murder aren't right. Templars hardly chain up mages like the Kunari. And can you be certain that they have committed murder? That's true. You know that dwarves can never dream or experience the Fade. It's hard to care for a plight of mages that we can never understand. Of course, I don't believe in the lackeys of the Chantry any more than I do the mages. Their precious maker means nothing to me. The Darkspawn threaten everyone, but the mages and Templars only threaten each other. That's why I won't take sides. Hmm. What happens if they start a war? Then I guess I'll have to make a choice. If they decide to set the world on fire with a war, I'll decide where my loyalties lie. Until that day, I want no part of it. Hmm, that's all for now. Moderate constitution. We have minus... what? We have minus five? But he's still warm to us, alright. How about you, Sorali? Let me save the game. I think if I would like to have anyone romanced in here i don't think fialif would it be it would be probably sarali how long do we have to live in danger commander when are we getting rid of these damn templars and not because of the accent <laughs> just because i like her character hmm. Hmm. there's nothing i do about them what are you talking about why do i always have to do what the templars say I wonder how many casualties we would have suffered during the attack if they hadn't been here at all. I've seen many a Templar, and I've seen them kill others far more often than they say them. But I assume you didn't come here just to hear me talk about our so-called friends. What do you want? Hmm. I'd like to hear more about you and your clan. There's not a great deal interesting to tell about them. They're stuck living in the ways of the past. Hmm. What do you mean by that? We Dalish have fallen from grace. Our long lifespans have quickened. We roam the wilderness in fear of Shemlin, or lose our identity and live in squalor inside cities. Mm. I told him we couldn't keep doing it. I told the Keeper. 
I told the whole clan, but they wouldn't listen. Hmm. What were you trying to do? All the Dalish stories are about the past. The long-forgotten past that no one except the Keepers care about. Even in the Dalish, we lose knowledge all the time. I told them that we needed to keep our history alive by making it, instead of just talking about it. If the Dalish keep living entirely in the past, then we'll have no future. The Keeper didn't want to hear that. He told me to be silent and to learn our history. Uh, you didn't like that, I guess. All right. I guess you didn't listen. Of course I ignored him. Yeah. Neither he nor the rest of the clan would respect me. As long as I insisted that we try to make a difference in Thedas, they treated me like a child. So, eventually... I learned to just hold my tongue and make things easier for myself. If I didn't argue, others would sit and eagerly listen to the stories of our wonderful past. After Bly, I couldn't do it anymore. Not with everything that had happened. The Daily should have done more. We should have lived in stories that the children would remember. Hmm. Well, you shouldn't have ever had to be silent. It was a coward choice. The Keeper and I argued over many days. He said that I was motivated by selfish desires and vanity. And I said he was too frightened to do anything but live in the past. Hmm. We were both right, but I was at least brave enough to admit it. He refused to concede anything. So I left him to find someone else to obediently tell his stories. I left to become part of history, rather than just be doomed to memorise and recite it. Hmm. You made the right decision. I know I did. My path has led me here. To a conflict affecting the lives of many. This just proves I was right. I know my decision to come here was the right one. How about you, Commander? Do you feel like you belong here? Hmm. I think so. But you're not sure? You always look like you have a purpose. Which is no small achievement. That's the making of a hero's tale right there. Hmm. Do you know the hardest part of writing a story to amuse and entertain? Do you know the most difficult thing to create? Hmm. The attractive companion? No. But she always appreciates being noticed. The hero is the hardest thing to create. Without someone that people can appreciate, relate to and care about, they'll never hand over a coin to hear a story. So far, I'm impressed. I don't know that I'll need to exaggerate when I tell stories about you. Well... Maybe I won't have to exaggerate much. Hmm, maybe. Hmm, what about you? I might be mentioned. But it's more important that I get to spend more time with the brave hero. <laughs> I want to make sure I get to know her well. Hmm. That sounds like fun. I'm glad you think so. We should talk more later. Sure. Hmm. <laughs> Is there anything else you've learned about the people here? I think I know a few things, but you may be concerned about what you hear. Well, I want to hear everything. What about Sir Catherine? You stood up against the Templars for him, and for Alice. He won't forget that. I'm still worried about him now that she's gone. As much as I hate the Templars, he might be foolish enough to provoke him by doing something really stupid. Hmm. What do you know about Farouk? I can tell you that you're going to have to work hard to get him to trust you after supporting Takathron. You still need to be on your guard. If you don't support the Chantry, he'll do everything he can to stop you from doing anything. And I'm... Uh, did I just ask about Takathrin? You stood up against the Templars Yeah, that's what I did. I'm okay. still worried about him now that What can you tell me about Esmeralda? She's more cunning than she lets on. Much more cunning. If you don't go out of your way to help Paul Leo however you can, I imagine she might try to make life very difficult for you. Politics is a dirty game. And she seems to be good at it. Well, I tried to help them, but it seems like I failed miserably. Very well. What do you want? What do you think about the Templars? Farouk's out of control. There was no cause for the Templars to kill Alice. Yes. And he shouldn't have protected them. Now we're going to be stuck dealing with Chantry politics. That's not something we want or need. Hmm. I don't like it any more than you do. Templar thugs like Farouk are far too common for my liking. 
Believe me, but this ain't the last of the oppression we'll see at his hands. He's going to make this situation worse before we're finished with the Darkspawn. I guarantee it. Hmm. All right, that's all for now. Plus 40, holy hell. We're at 57, friendly. All right, maybe we get to a romantic state in the future. We'll see. Moderate willpower, skill acquired. All right. Oh, well, first we talk to Fireleaf. We have some people lined up here, but I'm a bit afraid to talk to Esmeralda after what happened in the Orlesian village. Whew. 